good morning. So what I want to talk about is divine timing in, in, in this, uh, in this uh, spiritual awakening journey, uh, which really is a journey back to ourselves, a journey of self-discovery and uh, just taking off the layers and coming back to our source and who we really are, our divine selves. And there is a divine timing in this. It, everything happens and unfolds kind of gradual uh, in order to allow us to adjust as we go through the spiritual awakening and as we remove layers and as we realize, self-realize ourselves on every layer, we, we, we have a time of adjustment, a time of adjusting to the new selves that we're discovering as we go along the way. See, Every, all of the signs and every single message that you will ever receive uh, during your spiritual awakening is already here. It's already in the universe all around you. Everything that you will ever need for your entire expansion during this lifetime is already here. You can find the answers and they're here in multiple different places. You see, there is uh, also divine order. Um you know, there, there is sequence of events. There's cause and effect. There's patterns in the universe, and these patterns keep evolving and keep, uh, keep revolving. They keep uh, um, showing up in your life over and over and over and over again, um, just like the patterns of nature. You know, the tree, you can find signs anywhere when you are ready to perceive them. So these signs are already all around us. Once you are in a place where you are ready for that next stage or ready to perceive the next lesson, that lesson will be everywhere all around you in everything that you touch because these patterns are everywhere. So it's just like, um, th th say, this plant. In, in, because in, in, in its life, it is flexible. It's just like your mind. If you keep your mind alive and vibrant, it is flexible. And when something already is, is dead, like it's not in movement, then it's rigid. And it becomes like it, when you try to touch it, it, it cracks. So in the same way, it's kind of like our minds. You can find, you can find these messages from the universe in everything. It's it, and we have to allow this uh, spiritual awakening to unfold for us. So the more we try to force it, and the more we try to jump stages, you know, there there is a a divine timing to it all. So one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. We get, we we come over a certain part of ourselves. You know, we learn something about ourselves, and we get to this plateau. And it's like, wow, we have this amazing uh, understanding. And then there's a time of adjustment. There's like the plateau where everything seems to be not moving, where everything seems to be just at a standstill. But these are times that in, in this, during the spiritual awakening, they need to be there because it's a time of like, it's like when you put a new program into a computer and then you allow the computer to run to understand what is on the program. So you get this new programming in your mind and then you are going through a certain time in your life or a certain amount of time to really allow it to resonate, to allow it to be put into use on this platform, to you start applying it into your life until it becomes like a knowing and then you're ready for the next stage. So a, a lot of times, you know, sometimes the spiritual awakening, there are quantum leaps during the spiritual awakening. There are certain times where you just jump up a whole flight of stairs all at once. And it's like, whoa, you, you get to this new existence. It's like passing over into a new dimension. It's like when you build the steps, build the steps, and then all of a sudden there's a quantum leap into the new dimension, into the new stage of your being into the new stage of this uh, process of your spiritual awakening. And sometimes it's just a gradual crawl. Um, but because everything is built on everything, every single stage in this, uh, in this uh, spiritual awakening is of, of the same importance as any other stage that preceded it or any other stage that will be. So we can't, uh, we can't jump up 
until we go through and sort out every single layer that is within us and we wouldn't want to because this whole this whole life and this whole spiritual awakening all it is is an experience and if we jump over stages then we are we have gaps we can't first of all you can't do it you can't jump over stages because everything is dependent on everything what i realized today is dependent on what i realized 10 years ago um, so we have to slowly, gradually take these layers off and there is divine timing because it takes time of adjustment into these new ways of being and our new, um, our new coming into our new selves. And the more that you try to force it, the more you're like, I want this to be on the ball, you know, in the beginning, um, when in the beginning stages, when you start waking up, you, you start trying to want it to go quicker. You want it to go quicker. You want it to go quicker. And by trying to force it, you're actually slowing it down because you're not in that soft place of allowing things to flow through you. You're trying to go out and grasp things. Um, but when, as, as we go along in the spiritual awakening, we realize more and more that we don't know what we don't know. We don't know what the next stage is. As we get, that's what's so wonderful about it. It keeps on appearing for us and keeps on showing up for us and keeps on showing us places that we could have never imagined being, you know, a year ago, I could have never imagined where I would be now. Let's say 10 years ago, I could never imagine where I would be now because we don't know what we don't know. So we have to, in order to go through this uh, spiritual awakening, allow it to open up for us and show us the way. If we try to force it down a certain path, now we can know that in this certain area of my life, I uh, there's work that needs to be done because I have like a blind side there. A lot of times there's areas of our life that seem kind of cloudy or kind of gray that we, that we know that we have. So we can kind of request from the universe we can we can say you know i really want healing in this place and then kind of let it go and allow the universe to bring in the lessons as we go along or we can start playing in the mud puddle but allow the mud puddle to reveal its its uh, diamonds for us um so we all are exactly, exactly where we need to be during the spiritual awakening. And the more that we allow and let go, and the more that we, you know, sometimes we get to these plateaus and it's kind of frustrating. You get to a place where you feel like there is no advancement, but there is always advancement just being in that plateau. Sometimes, you know, because because the spiritual awakening is finding balance, it's finding balance between your spirit and finding balance between this 3D. It's all relevant in this 3D world is where all of this whole is the playground. It's where everything is working out. It's what allows us to have this human experience. It's what allows us even to um, collect thoughts because we have this body and this and this ego. That is what allows us to even have a collection of thoughts and memories and an experience through the, you know, otherwise if we were just at the soul level, all it is, is, is observation. That's all this is, is, is a, an experience. So at the soul level, we are only an experiencer. The ego, uh, what is underneath this body is what gathers the information and makes sense of it and comes to conclusions. And then we come to um, um, uh, conclusions and then um, judgments and these judgments is also, you know, we can't be completely without judgment because our life is based on judgment. You know, we make a judgment that if we put one foot in front of the other, we're going to get to the other side of the room. We do this on automatic mode. It's part of life, but it's all about finding balance. This whole life experience is about finding balance. So Part of finding balance is also learning how to live in this 3D world. And sometimes it's menial. Sometimes it's doing dishes. Sometimes it's making food. And that is all part of it. Finding the balance between the spirituality and the, and the higher levels of being and learning how to bring them into this experience and live this experience because this is the experience in this 3D this is the experience. This is the life that we were given. This is uh, what this playground is all about. Expansion on this level. So all of the other levels come to this level to play out on this playground, on this, on this um, platform. 
So it is all part of it. It is finding the balance and finding the ultimate experience. It's kind of like, I would see it kind of like I, the way that I see it in my mind's eye is kind of like, like a being that is standing halfway in between, like balancing on the, between the earth and the sky. It's kind of like finding this, uh, this beautiful dance where you can, where it, it, it brings everything into your existence, including, including this, uh, 3d, um, experience and the higher experiences. And they all come together in this beautiful, um, dance. Um, and during this, uh, during the spiritual awakening, uh, as we go through ourselves, we are also overcoming uh, beliefs, old beliefs. Where where we are, um, and and that is also takes time of adjustment, and and these are places that we go through, like our own um, ego death or dark night of the soul, which also is all divinely planned and all divinely orchestrated, and all goes according to divine timing. So as we go through the spiritual awakening and we overcome ourselves, there's also pain in that. You know, we're overcoming um, beliefs that we believe to be true, parts of us that were false parts of us or, or not even false parts of us. You can't say that it's false because it's all, you know, it is all part of it. And as we, as we come through these stages of, of you know, self-realization, and we and we are overcoming ourselves we have multiple dark nights of the soul to different to different uh to different extremes and and these things take time they take time of adjustment they take time to kind of mourn our old selves as we as we pass through ourselves and as we overcome false beliefs and and falsities within ourselves then um, then we we kind of, you know, and we overcome ego, but it's, it's more like we, as we overcome ego, which means that we're overcoming ego controlling us because it's, it's like, um, my twin said to me that, uh, that are like the, 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 the falsities in our ego, they're good workers. They work good for us, but they're, they're horrible bosses. So our ego is like, a horrible boss but if we come up into control of our being and as we rise on the spiritual awakening and we uh, take control over our ego because our ego is there our ego is what holds us apart it's the it's the the illusion that we are apart from everything which serves us purpose and which serves the purpose of of allowing us to have this experience at all the the illusion that we are apart cuz cuz if we knew what we really were if we if we completely understood it holds us in this place that we want um that we are um, um worried about our being that we want to you know that we think that we are apart from everything and, we, and it, it's it's actually a savior for us um because if we knew who we really were, it wouldn't make a difference. We'd just lay down in the dirt and dissolve back into the dirt because we're a part of everything anyway. We're a part of everything. We're a part of this. It doesn't have consequence. Um, all this is is an experience, and it's an experience of expansion. We are in constant expansion. That is what love is. Love is expansion. The, that is what this whole universe is about. That's why when we are in expansion during the spiritual awakening, we want more and more and more. It, it gives us fulfillment. It gives us the taste of life. We're in expansion. Um, that's what attracts us to other people, people that have keys for our expansion. So this whole spiritual awakening is about expansion, really. And so I just wanted to say that, that uh, about the spiritual awakening and how just trust in the divinity of it. Trust that just like we were born and we are perfect and everything is in synchronicity and everything is divine, there is divine timing in this spiritual awakening. Everything is unfolding for you exactly as it needs to be unfolding. And the, the, um, you know, the best that we can do is to be an allowance of it and allow it to unfold for us. 
um, allow the time that, that it takes for each stage. And I'm not saying sit in it and just, uh, you know, it's knowing that you want to continue, but then allowing the, the universe to bring the signs forth for you. So I really appreciate you guys watching and thank you for watching.